Imagine you're out and about adventuring and you come across a weaponsmith. After interacting with him, he asks you what weapon do you want. You say you want a sword. The sword you get is the same old boring level 1 sword you'd get in every other game. You wanted a cool sword with lots of spikes. But in this case, the weaponsmith actually understands you and dynamically creates the weapon based on your description. So it looks cool, right? Now let me blow your mind. Both these weapons were not in my project when I clicked play. They were dynamically created based on a prompt that I've sent to Sloyd. So, how does this game dev black magic work? Well, let me show you. First, you need to understand what Sloyd even is. Sloyd is a tool that generates 3D assets using a collection of customizable components. These components are created by our skilled artists with our in-house model technology, and they can be seamlessly assembled to create new and unique models. But how is this different than any other asset pack? Well, with Sloyd, not only is every model fully customizable, but even every individual part of the model is customizable too. This gives you an almost unlimited amount of variety that you can edit on the fly with immediate results. In short, Sloyd offers you the tools to truly make every model your own, but finding the right settings to make the models look exactly the way you imagined it can still be tedious at times. So we trained an AI to know about each model with all their components, sliders and toggles so that it can use all our tools to generate models based on your prompts. Now all this is done in our web app, but what about inside your packaged games like I showed in the intro? It's quite simple actually. We made it possible for users to send input prompts through our API to this AI. The AI will then create and send back the models which will then show up in your game. In the right hands, this will create games like you've never seen before, where players can describe a weapon to a weaponsmith and see their weapon get created in front of their eyes. Or maybe a Sims-like game where the players can describe furniture they want in their home and then see that furniture pop up. Or maybe even a Mario Kart-like racing game where you can describe the go-kart you want to ride. In my case, I created the creation cube, a convergence of all the deleted blender cubes into an omnipotent cube god capable of manifesting any 3D object in existence. Yeah, as you can see, the possibilities are endless. So how do you gain access to our API? Well, simply sign up with the link in the description and we'll handle the rest. And while you wait, you can also check out our web app. It's free for up to three downloads per month. And if you want to see how we combine our technology with the texturing feature in Roblox to create game-ready assets in record time, well then click this video here.